How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, my client Miguel is coming back for the second time from Germany to get another tattoo. The concept that we're going to be doing today is La Catrina. Now, for those of you who don't know what a Catrina is, women or male dress up as a skeleton on Dia de los Muertos to celebrate our ancestors. And that's what we got going on today. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go! How you doing, bro? Doing good. Yourself? I'm doing good. I'm, I'm starving, bro. Yeah. Oh, me too, me too. Get, get, get some food. Get some food. <laughs> Damn. Oh, yeah. It came out crazy. It came out real good. Everywhere I go, I get complimented on it. I what, like, are, what are your ideas? I really, Keeping it Mexican heritage. Yeah. yeah. Let, me, let me start looking at images. But yeah. Man, the way that healed up is crazy, bro. I'm oh, just yeah. looking at it. That shit just drags my attention. All right. Let's start looking for things. Let's figure this out. All right. Listo, vámonos. Fierro pariente que son la acordeón de aquí nomás. Vamos a darle con todo. Yes, sir. Hey, oh yeah, you ready? No, but all right, let's do it. <laughs> It's gonna be an easy day too. Uniform. Yeah. How, long, how long do you think? I would even say like 30 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> ah, damn, you wish. <laughs> Oh, that song's stuck in my head now, bro. Parece que va a llover. El cielo se está doblando. The weather is nice, though. Huh? Fresh, yeah. It's fresh. Messi want to drink hot chocolate y una concha. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Right there, huh? Augusto. Oh, yeah, that's good. Damn, bien cómodo que estás. You're, like, so comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> And let it happen, dude. Oh, this is a good stencil. Look at that. Damn, bro. This is a good stencil. It's not even coming off. You know what, bro? Let's call it a day. Go home. <laughs> just, just keep the stencil, bro. <laughs> this is a good stencil. Look at that, bro. This is a good stencil. Satisfying. Yeah. Oh, damn. About to, about to put this on TikTok, just like know, peeling right? off the stencil, yeah. satisfying. So the reason why we have a big gap here in the middle, uh, it's a three finger rule. Uh, he's in the military and he's, um, it's a requirement for them to have uh, the three finger rule. So they have this thing where like you submit, whenever you go for promotion, you submit your photo. But like overall, I think most of the military is generally positive towards tattooing. Yeah. It's just, you have to have certain limitations so like it won't take away from the professionalism. Uh, the areas that I'm going to be focusing on to kind of go more in depth based on what I'm looking at is the hair because my reference is completely black. I mean the hair just looks completely black. There's no textures, there's no dimension, no nothing. So I'm going to take you guys through my thought process on how I'm going to figure out how to make the, the, the hair flow a little bit better. And On the eye sockets, I like the eye sockets, so I feel like I can go in depth with that. And um, that's pretty much it. Those are the, the two areas that I really want to focus on. I think that's it. Let's go. My mom liked it. Yeah? Yeah. What'd she say? It's like, me gusta. Oh, that's, like, it's like, it's just, that's different. I was like, I was like, She's like, I know, I just, she's like, I just don't like you getting uh, stabbed millions of times. <laughs> and I was like, I know, but do they look good? She's like, yeah, they look good. And I was like, all right. <laughs> That's all I need to know. That's yeah. it. So right now I'm just feeling the flow of the hair, to be honest. I'm just, just feel it. Go with the flow. Have fun with it. You know, I'm going to add a curl right here. But I'm also going to say that if you are not 100%, into freehanding and into uh, freehanding or going with the flow with hair. Uh, make sure you find a reference so you can kind of go based off that. The more you study, 
the funner it gets. Because you're not stressing about, oh man, I don't have a reference for this, so now I gotta find something that looks similar. And I can't find that reference, so now I gotta spend another two to three hours finding the right concept or the right, the right reference to make sure that it fits the face, you know, and highly recommend for you guys to study as much as you can. And once you have that uh, in your brain, everything's gonna be like muscle memory. You're just gonna do it without even thinking about it. And you're just gonna enjoy the process even better. stretch it this way and just continue the flow of this line here the way I think about it is like swirls right now I'm just using the liner just to kind of uh, create some sort of map we go here boom follow up this line here and like I said always running my machine at 5.0 it never changes Sus, sus. I'm gonna make sure the side of this face is super sharp. That way it looks like three dimensional. Super HD. There you go. So I'm just creating the map right now. I'm also paying attention to my highlights so I know that if the hair is going this way that means that the hair is going to be darker and then the way I see it is if the hair starts getting a little wavy right here I know that this is my highlight area because it's the area that's creating that curve it's going to give it that dimension perfect The good thing about creating a map with your liner is that just in case, you know, there's an area that you're like, you know what, I'm not really feeling that area too much. That's why I like doing it with the liner because it gives me a chance just in case I don't like a spot, I can adjust it. This curve right here is gonna be the biggest highlight of this hair. So this here, I'm gonna make sure that this is what's gonna make the hair stand out. I'm gonna go in and then once I do that, I am gonna create that highlight here on this corner. See that? I'm just I'm already creating that that highlight on the hair. I'm gonna make this the longest. Easy. There you go. Now that I have the map of the face, what I'm gonna do is switch from my seven round liner to my 11 curve mag. And now I'm gonna use that to start doing a little bit more of the flow of the hair. With the mag, I'm able to do soft shading. I'm able to add a little bit more dimension to the hair.
you guys have a seven round liner? I have one. I seven. think I do. Let me check. Se Thanks. Seven. Se se just a seven round liner, yeah. Hey, yeah. thank you. The, it's a textured liner. Envy. Pretty tight. Envy, yeah. I like Envy. He runs out of these every time he comes here. Alright, guys, I'm about to do some white highlights. <laughs> Let's go. So you didn't feel the red at all? I don't even feel that right now. If you don't make the sound effect, it doesn't work. King, 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 king. A little bit of white right here. I'll do the little glare on the eye too. <laughs> yeah, sound effects, bro. You gotta do them. All right, if you, if you were to give this a sound effect. A sound? A sound, ready? I'm about to go. All right, right here, I'm gonna do this line right here, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely, that sounds like a, like a, like a motorcycle. Hey <laughs> That's pretty good. It's like your sound effect. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming back and watching this brand new video. I really appreciate you. So if you're a tattoo artist, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you're a tattoo enthusiast, I hope you were entertained. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week. I'm gonna go watch Queen do her thing.